it is really important to highlight the need for good epilepsy care globally, um, with the highest burden being in you know, the developing parts of the world and the focus often being on kind of the new technologies and what the amazing advances we're making in um, higher income countries, we, we often miss the, the amount of um, impact we can with very low scale efforts um, in low income countries. My specific talk um, is going to be talking about the various types of interventions that do exist, kind of the evidence for improving access to care um, that is out there. The first step is making sure that, you know, people can get access to a provider who knows how to manage it and how to start medications initially and when to refer um, to form further testing and further evaluations. And the, um, combined with that, and one of the reasons I think that it is really hard to effectively treat epilepsy and feeds back into this whole belief that it's not going to successfully tr be treated is that there's not consistent medications. Mm -hmm. And so when you don't have consistent medications and you're not seeing the improvement because they're not getting their medications consistently or can't increase the dosage or they're getting switched, you know, or unfortunately they're not good quality because they're, um, you know, sham medications, all of that then you're gonna have people believing that this is a terrible condition that they can't do well with. Whereas we know that 70% plus can do well on monotherapy. We do need engagement from higher up people. So you need to engage the Ministry of Health right away. You need to engage um, you know, the other health officials within the region right away. And I think those are the things that we're seeing improve now because there's more awareness and particularly with you know the global campaign against epilepsy and all of that that's being promoted by WHO.